Paul Lewis has certainly given us a lot of, of help on finance. Would it be your recommendation that we get that kind of professional help on that kind of policy review? Yes. Great. Thank you. And that takes nothing away from your very talented hardworking HR person. No, 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 not at all. And nor was it meant to in yeah, your no, question. Yeah. Questions are often very helpful. Another pause. This is a huge, perhaps at least for me, I've given a lot of thought to this. Yes. So this is a download of a lot of information. This is designed such that you can read it tonight, you can set it aside, you can read it a week from now, you can we read it a month from now, and then maybe six or eight months from now, you, your book has a lot of check marks in it, and then some scribbles through it where you say, no, no, we're not going there. <laughs> but you start making checks on a list. So if I'm reading it at one in the morning, I shouldn't call you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear him say that. I don't check. see his phone number on yeah, it. Doc, I want to give it to you. Okay. <laughs> Um, in the course of the, particularly in the course of the city administrator recruitment, I work very closely with your HR director, and I chose the words here with, with care like, like always. Um, I thought she showed professionalism, knowledge of the subject area, and insightful good judgment. And the second on this list, administrative functions, I recite what is the current authorized staffing levels in that arena, recite that the administrative executive assistant general fund is budgeted at about one-tenth of one person, um, and uh, encourage that you review that, that whole matter and look beyond, again, uh, perhaps this is a mayor and city administrator thing, to look a little more broadly, how are, are those functions being performed and are there different ways to organize how that is done? Um, I, I express real skepticism that uh, Vicki, who's doing a real good job at this, is really only spending one-tenth of one FTE on this. Uh, just Maybe I'm a skeptic. In the police arena, I had very little contact with the uh, rank-and-file officers and uh, I wanted to note the chief's acknowledgement of the budget matter and his graceful um, cooperation on not refilling a second budgeted position this year. Uh, you have, the, I, I think that the East County Court Services matter is coming close to resolution and animal control and related will be back before you. Um, the recommendation is that you look at both those subjects as the 11 budget uh, comes close. Uh, and with respect to the fire department, again, I had very little contact with the rank and file employees, good deal of uh, contact with the chief, and I'm so glad to see you back. Thank yeah, you. I'm, that was, uh, there's the recommendation of transfer the fire facilities project to, to REIT uh, and lead the passage of an adequate EMS replacement levy that's here in your work this evening. Uh, I'm intrigued by the, the way that the operational people seem to cooperate pretty well. And is that a segue to more cooperation? We'll see. Uh, sometimes what seems easy to me is not hard. I mean, it's not easy in the real world. Um, in the legal arena, uh, I wanted to note uh, uh, Mr. English's fine work on several items with quick turnaround times and uh, just surface the question that I think is in several people's minds, what's the succession and what do we do when Don English doesn't want to be city attorney anymore? Um, I had a lot of contact with Public Works. Uh, the need in that arena, in, in my opinion, for focused, steady leadership um, is, is critical. Um, there have been so many potential projects demanding at the top leadership's time and energy 
that um, I think real discipline, strategic focus on priority projects is, is, is essential in that arena. Um, you all, as council members, you always get utility rates to the degree you can. I urge you to let the real costs of service drive your rates. And I know that that is easier said than done. Uh, invest in infrastructure and seek outside funding sources. There's a little list of the sources. My experience is to be really successful at that, you have to have a multi-year approach and uh, not go after everything all at once, choose strategically and then just drive, <laughs> to use sports talk. Um, deliver the planned and funded projects. You have a number of those in the parks arena on page 14. I was impressed with your lead person and with the energy of your parks commission. They just seem real enthusiastic and that's, that's a gem. Um, you have multiple uh, things on the parks plan and again, it, it sounds like a theme of mine. I think that I'd recommend focus on achieving some things rather than trying everything will serve you <coughs> best. In community development, uh, <coughs> the department and key staff are experienced and professional. Um, touch a little bit about the idea that uh, perhaps there's ways to cooperate with the neighbors to share costs and, and keep the staff intact. And nearing the end of all of this, um, several of the ideas, um, there were clues from the staff and clues from your discussions. One of the ideas here at the, at the end is that you look very carefully at engineering. In 09 and 08, we as an, or well, as an organization spent a lot of money on engineering. And I'm not criticizing the value you got out of that. It's not my job to, to analyze that in detail. But the amount that was spent very substantial and I think there's a possibility of bringing on an in-house city engineer as an alternative <coughs> to some of those contract expenditures that may give you shorter lines of communication and some other advantages and fund itself if, if I were in Mr. Scott's position, I would be following the general fund and I would ask the most searching questions on every great idea about the general fund expenditures. And um, people might come to think of, of that as, as uh, almost obsessing on the general fund. But once again, to go back to the beginning, um, that has to solve or else two or three years down the road, uh, you're, you're going to be in um, a compounded situation. And my conclusion is, uh, is really very much a personal one. Um, first, on the content of it, um, I think that uh, there are many fundamentals that are positive and hopeful. Uh, the officials and the staff are eager for a good future for the city and prepared to make contributions, each and every one of you. Uh, and the others who aren't here this evening. Um, in italics is the phrase, 